A piston cylinder containing water is heated on top of a hot plate. During this process, 55 BTU of heat is transferred to the water and heat losses to the environment amount to 12 BTU. Due to water evaporating, the piston rises, generating 4,000 foot-pounds of work. What is the change in the energy of the water during this process? Pause here and try to solve this problem yourself before watching the solution. This is the first example for the first law of thermodynamics 12-minute lecture video. The links to the other examples on this topic and the other lectures of the thermo course are found in the description below. The purpose of this example is primarily to discuss English units for thermodynamic processes. The process to solving for the change in energy is practically the same as that for the example of the main lecture video. We'll only reiterate that work coming in is considered negative and coming out positive. A BTU, which stands for British Thermal Unit, is the unit used for heat. Just like calorie is the energy necessary to raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius, or one Kelvin, a BTU is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit, or one Rankine. Just by knowing this, you can probably find the conversion from one BTU to calories or joules. Just be very wary of the difference between a pound force and a pound mass. Link to a video that talks specifically about the difference between pound force and pound mass in the description below. As opposed to metric, where for the most part we stick to joules or kilojoules for both heat and work, in English units we can but don't usually talk about BTUs for work. We talk about foot-pound for work and BTU for heat. Just a brief parenthesis, it's technically always the singular BTU, even when you have more than one, for example 12 BTU, but since the acronym is referring to thermal unit, it's not a big deal if you say 12 BTUs. Now if we add to this that 778.17 foot-pound of energy are required to raise a pound mass of water by 1 degree Fahrenheit, we're basically saying that 1 BTU is equal to 778 foot-pounds. So back to solving this specific problem. We have our energy conservation equation or first law equation. Just like in the example from the main lecture, we can assume that the potential and kinetic energy terms are negligible. We'll see how small they are in future examples even when relatively big changes in velocity are present. For example in a pipe flow where heat is added. But for now, for sure assume they are negligible. And this is true for any control volume we choose. Specifically here, we can choose the control volume to be the water volume or the volume bounded by the piston and the cylinder walls. We have heat coming in, heat coming out, and work coming out of the system. Notice that we are not adding work. We are not inputting a torque to provide the system with energy like we did during the last example. The change in properties that we'll later come to understand caused the piston to move, meaning that the system produced work that can be used elsewhere. So that's why work is coming out and therefore by convention positive. And with a quick unit conversion, we see that 4000 feet pound is 5.14 BTU. Of course, this value is positive, but the negative sign from the conservation of energy equation is still there. So we end up with 55 minus 12 minus a positive 5.14. The total change in energy for the water is therefore 37.9 BTU. If you want to check out the other examples for this same topic, the main lecture video, or other lectures of the thermo course and other engineering courses, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.